There are a lot of key commands and shortcuts you can use in Logic to help you work easier and faster. Finding them and remembering them, however, can be a challenge. Today, I want to show you a bunch of pointer tool shortcuts that I use every day. It's not surprising that a lot of Logic users haven't discovered some of these since it can take some time to work these out. We'll cover some well-known ones and a few that I don't think many folks know. If you're new to Logic, I can't stress enough how much easier these will make your workflow. So let's go over a few. If you'd like to reset the track header height, you can shift click on the line in between these tracks and all of them wind up being the same size they've been reset. If you've got several tracks soloed out and you want to unsolo them, you can just hold the Option key and click on the S or the Solo button. If you want to open up contextual menus, you can just control click or two finger tap on your trackpad and in different spots, this will open up your contextual menu. If you command double click on an icon on a track like this base icon right here, if I command and double click, it will open up the instrument that this track is using. In this case, it's Trillion Bass. If I want to duplicate a type of track, like say an instrument track that I have highlighted here, I can go down to the empty space and just double click. That creates an instrument track or whatever is highlighted. I'll undo that. If I want to recreate the track with the instrument, I can hold Option and double click, and it creates that type of track, an instrument track, with, in this case, the Trillion Bass. Here's one that I don't think a lot of folks know. If I select a region and I want the Marquee tool to select that entire region, I can Command Option click on that region and the marquee tool will select that entire region. Here's one involving the cycle area. If I have the cycle ruler engaged and I want to extend it in either direction, I can hold the shift key and I extend it to the right and then I'll click to the left and I'll extend it to the left. So simply clicking either direction with my shift key engaged and we can extend it. I like to use markers. So here's some shortcuts or pointer tool shortcuts for the markers. If I hold the command key and click on a location, that will cause that marker to end there. If I hold the shift command, I can cause a marker to start at the location I click at. If I want the playhead to move to the start of a marker, all I have to do is hold the option key and click on that marker. Here's a couple that I think everyone already knows, but just in case we'll cover them. If I go to a region and I double click on the highlighted section, I'll open up the edit panel or the piano roll. If I want a knob or a fader to return to its default position, I can hold the option key and click on that knob or fader and it returns. Now let's move on to some with the piano roll. If I want to add notes, I can temporarily change the pointer to the pencil tool by using the command, holding that, and then I can click anywhere and add notes. If I want to add multiple notes, I can hold the command key, turning it into the pencil, hold the shift key, and drag. This will add notes at the quantize value. If I want to temporarily change to the velocity tool, I can hold on to the command control key, both of those, hover over a MIDI note, and then I can drag up and down. Our velocity goes up or goes down this way. If I have several notes that are at different lengths and I want them to be the same length, I can highlight them, drag them holding the shift key, and they'll all become the same length. Now let's do a couple with automation. I'll turn on my automation, and here I've got my automation lanes open, a little automation on the guitar. Now if I hold Control Shift, it will turn it into the Automation Curve tool. I can hover over that line and drag it down or up, 
and create a curve with my automation. If we want to affect our automation points, for example, right here, I can drag it down, click on it and drag down. Sometimes it's moving too much. So if we hold on to the control key while we're dragging it, it will move in smaller increments. All right, let's do one more. We'll open up a channel EQ. I'll make a selection. And now if I hold on to the command option key, you'll see the Q show up and I can change the Q of this selection by dragging up or down. Q stands for quality and I'm basically changing the shape of the EQ curve. When I first started learning logic shortcuts, I needed a strategy. Learning all of them at once would be impossible. So what I did was break them down into groups like this and use them repeatedly over the next few weeks until they became second nature. When I forgot some more than others, I made a list and put it by my computer. I would look at that list for a few seconds before I started each session. This got me over the top with the more difficult ones to remember. So there are some pointer tool shortcuts and hopefully you'll find them useful.